Yes, we do give thanks for life and a mighty life given. and we give thanks for all good things around us as sent from Zion above. So we praise for our praise for our voice own divine and true and sincere love. Give thanks definitely as you step right into the realms of the food of seven. Where we not only feed the mouth and the belly, but we feed the soul. Give thanks as definitely as we we are happy to be here with you again once more. We are indeed sorry for a little later start. And we, you know, we, we pray that everything could be in a more timely motion in the in the future. Uh, we give thanks for the the blessings of life. We give thanks as life is the greatest gift. You know, we give thanks also for food, clothing, and shelter. You know, we give thanks for all good things around us are definitely sent from Zion above. So we praise for our praise for our for His divine love. As you know, we are streaming live on Facebook also for all those people who actually would want to actually watch us on Facebook. Definitely, um, we are streaming live on Facebook. So all your contacts on Facebook, wherever you are, all anywhere around the world, definitely know that we are on Calabash TV on Facebook. So let me just send that blast out to my people. And specifically, you know, um, you know, send a big blast out to the people, let the people know that. All right, yes, you could look at us on Facebook, as you know, you know, Calabash TV, you know, leading the way, definitely. So today is a very important day, and and I mean every day is important, but today we do have a visitor with us today, and this visitor is going to um speak to us about one two of her. Um, healthcare products that she has created right here in St. Lucia and you know it's good to see that when we have you know local things right here created right here and, and things that are essentially good for us you know we give thanks for all those people who, who all the way around in St. Lucia because even this year we want to do a little bit more of that highlight what our local people right here in St. Lucia have for us and what our people who reside here actually create because most times we tend to look out of ourselves and look all over seas and all around the places and over oceans and over you know thousands of miles we have to import so-called healthcare things and most of the times you know what we have around us is is even of more supreme quality so we give thanks for all those people who are doing the little bit in the whole in the whole revolution of the healthcare system because before you know we only used to hear about avon cream and only used to hear about um um avon soaps and that and this but right now you have so many different local companies right here in st lucia whereby you have people doing their own on their own creams doing their own soaps doing their everything you know people actually have that capacity to actually produce so we give thanks definitely for all those people who are internationally um distributing their own goods like as ourselves the great physician international as we do have a uh, even um our 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 products are even known more internationally than locally because as as we travel the world and we we go different places and we, we give lectures by right today i was really supposed to be in the bahamas you know as we had the culmination of the inter-secondary school vegan cooking competition in the bahamas you know but you know um i i as as we have for the for the little time here you know we have what we have decided to do is to actually spend a little time in saint lucia you know and just spend a time in saint lucia and basically fulfill certain things that needs to be fulfilled you know, because most times you know we neglect what we have here you know um in saint lucia and then we, we we you know we go all over the world and we we see all type of things but it's also very important that we try our best to focus focus you know on our people and see how it is that we as a people you know we as a people could actually uplift our own selves and do the best to uplift our own people here in St. Lucia. So, I mean, I, I give thanks definitely for all those people, you know, who are trying their best to actually uplift themselves by producing the, the resources around them, 
to produce different type of things. I know I know Red Hands and Lucia right now. We have countless people doing their own virgin coconut oil, people doing herbal teas, people selling herbs all on the street, people doing coconut oil, people doing creams, people doing sea moss, people doing all type of things. And I give thanks definitely for all those people who are trying their best to actually be innovative because most times what you used to find before is people just wait on a job, you know, and, and wait and see who can give them a job. But right now you see a lot of people are definitely, you know, creating employment for themselves. When you even look at the, 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 the people selling coconut on the roadside, you know, plenty people, plenty, 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 plenty people, you know, I mean, now make coconut selling. Definitely coconut selling is like a, a job. You know, people make a thousand dollars a day just selling coconuts. You understand? And before this used to be like some kind of jokey thing about uh, Evan Coco, Evan Coco. Uh, well, you know, people used to ridicule people if someone, if somebody said, "Well, look, um, oh boy, I'm, I, 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 my profession is selling coconut." People used to ridicule you. Nowadays, selling coconut is big business. You know, and people even bottle it now. It's in the supermarket and all these different places. So I mean, I, I give thanks definitely to see that people nowadays. Are, are, are even more, you know, um, open-minded. They are. They, 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 their head is not that in a box, in a shoebox even. You know that they themselves, they don't even try to actually create something important for themselves. You know, so it is important that we actually glorify these things when people actually take that, take 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 the steps forward to even, you know, move forward in creating, you know, things that our people could actually utilize. So I give thanks and I, I pray that even me, even having my own little challenges here in St. Lucia, I mean, our products are available internationally, worldwide. Um, internet, Amazon, our books, all around the world. You know, and it has definitely been a challenge for us as trying, just trying to get our people, our, our own people, you know, our own people just to say, well, look, embrace what is yours. So I give thanks for all those people like my, myself who have persevered because it takes a lot of perseverance to know, well, look, you try a little something and, you know, and, you know, and sometimes people laugh at you and call you all type of names, but you keep on going and going and going until the world recognizes what you're doing. And sometimes it's only when the world recognize what we are doing that is when our people here in saint lucia recognize what we're doing so i give thanks for that recognition from my people because i must say some people say a prophet is only honored in his own country it, that well that's true i mean a prophet is honored in his own country uh, I, I i feel honored in my own country you know most times people say oh i praise boy um why why did i give an award and something so i mean I, I sincerely feel honored in St. Lucia, you know, I, I must say that um, I feel honored in St. Lucia, I, I must say that, that nowadays what you find, you find that people believe, well, you know, it's government that have to honor you or this person have to honor you, but when a when man on the streets honor you, you know, when a man on the streets honor you, man, I mean, that, that's big honoring too. When you're walking on the street and the man says, oh, why praise? Give thanks for the works that you've been doing and, oh, uh, give thanks for the, you know, I watch you and I drink this and I, and I feel better and I drink this and the, you know, the girl by the stones came out. That's, that, that's, that's honoring, you know, and you don't have to wait until some other type of person honor you to believe that you are honored. No, no, man. Nah, man. As long as you you are honored by your people, whereby your people themselves, especially I'm talking about Tom and, and Joe and Harry and Jennifer and Peter and all these different people there. It's important that these people honor you. Because they say the poor will always be there with you, you know. You know, I mean the poor will always be there with you. So sometimes you're looking for some type of big person to honor you and the poor is trying to honor you all the time blessing you up and then you you know and, and it's the poor people that really runs the economy you know i mean it's the poor people that really make things run you know when you go to the supermarket 
I mean, it's poor people that buy things at the supermarket. The people who really can afford you. I mean, you hardly see a really rich, rich, rich person at the supermarket. You know what I mean? When somebody is rich, they, they don't even shop in St. Lucia. I mean, the majority of whatever they have, they order it from overseas. You know what I mean? The, the great majority. When you look at it, the great majority of what these people have, they actually order it from overseas. You know, even myself sometimes, I find myself guilty. If I, if I have to buy a part for my vehicle sometimes, I order it, I order it on, on overseas. I mean, come on. It's much cheaper. But the poor people... I and I, and I, and the I. I mean, they say the poor will always be with you. So when the poor and have nots, it doesn't have to be people who are suffering in, in, the, in the gutter, you know, and, and thing, you know. I mean, the poor and have nots are the people without a voice, the voiceless. When these people see you and they say, give thanks for the work, so give thanks for what you're doing, you have to take these things that deeply. You know, don't believe it's only when you get an award from a politician or independence, they come and then they give you an award. Or you get that award, that's when your works have been recognized. No, nah, man. Your works are recognized when the people themselves, the people themselves, the people, yeah, man, when these people actually verify your works and say, well, give thanks for all the good things that you are doing. And we must understand that as a people. And value. And value. Yes, we must value what the poor people the people that's always there with us have to have to tell us. Not, don't wait until a bourgeois come or somebody come and say, Oh boy, oh boy, please kill us, boy. Nah. So I, I, I disagree. I, I don't think that that um a prophet is without honor except in his own country. I do feel honored. I do feel very honored by my people. You know? We yeah, are very, 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 very honored. I feel very honored by, by the people of St. Lucia. You know, that they actually take the time out. They support what we do at our restaurant. You know, a lot of people here buy our medicines, you know. Yes, our, our sales are big overseas also. But I do honor the fact that a lot of our own people here in St. Lucia actually use the things that we have. And they bless me up and they call me honorable priest and they deal with me bountifully. I give thanks for that divine love, right? So uh, I, I must say, well, I mean, even if, yeah, people say, well, oh, you could have been more honored than now. Nah, and I mean, I give thanks. The voice of the people is the voice of God. Definitely. So today, what we're going to do, we're going to, before we join our visitor, we're going to go into the whole realms of dealing with some substantial issues later on in our programs because we've been going with the whole aspect of herbs how to utilize the herbs how to harvest the herbs the different ways of 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 of, of using the herbs last program we look at the poultices we look at fermentations we look at infusions do you know what an infusion is do you know what a, a fermentation is do you know what a decoction is we look at all these things there Today we're going to look at tinctures, we're going to look at oils, we're going to look at salves, we're going to look at creams, we're going to look at all different ways that we could actually utilize herbs. And it is good that today we're going to look at these things as the, the, the I won't say guest, but our companion today is an individual who actually create creams and salves and soaps and different type of things. And probably she could give us some insight into how she actually does her little stuff. She might not give you the little recipe that she used so you could go and copycat and do whatever that it is that you want to do and say yours better than hers. But I mean, at the end of the day, right? Right? At the end of the day, you know, it is important that... I'm going to fix up the black from the, from, from, from the um, computer. Honorable. You know, at the end of the day, it is important that, yes, you know, we are trying and the things that we are doing specifically are for the upliftment of our people. So... I'm going to um, introduce our sister here with us today. It's um, Sister Kehinde Olohide. Olohide. All right. Blessed love. Blessed love, my sister. <laughs> Give thanks Say for being with us today. Thanks to everyone, all our viewers. I'm really very, very honored to be here this, this evening. Yes, I mean, I mean, um, we have, I have seen you. I remember you came to me some time ago mm -hmm. and you said, well, priest, you. I mean, it's about a, almost a year ago when you said, mm. priest, 
you know I'm, I'm working on some products I'm trying to create some local products would you actually assist me mm -hmm. would you uh, have them selling in, in your shop and these type of things and I, I it's amazing to see your progress from from that point to this point whereby I can see right now you have your soaps your oils and even you have coconut oil in capsules mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. tell us tell us about yourself and what your company does do okay my name is Kendi Uloyede I own the K Amoni Essentials. I'm a cream formulator. That's a certified one. And um, I have a range of products locally made, natural, and organic. Most of them are vegan. I have soaps, I have body cream, I have shampoos, I have coconut oil. All are coconut oil based. I use coconut oil in making oil. So I'm going to talk about a few of them. The most common ones that I, that I love so much. I love all of them. The, the most common one I love is my coconut body butter. Can you show it to us? So what is in it? Yeah, I have 100% African shea butter. What is shea butter? I mean, lots of people ask about shea butter. But I know you're coming from Nigeria, okay? What, what is it that, and you, you have with us in St. Lucia now, what is it, is, how do you well, get share butter? Here. I usually bring them from Nigeria. The share butter? Yeah. Mm. But, but where does share butter here. come from? It's come from, it has, it's a nut. A nut? Yeah, there's a nut in Africa mm. that when you break it, just like the way you do your, um, your cocoa, uh -huh. your cocoa tea, uh -huh. you break it, uh -huh. and then you boil it. Mm -hmm. And then the oil comes. There's a way they, they, they fry it mm -hmm. on the on the um, on the big pan, mm -hmm. and the oil comes up, and you gather it together. And as they are coming up, you gather it, and then you put somewhere. You gather. You, it's just a, it's a knot. So what are, butter, what, what are the benefits of shea butter? What are, what what? It's a great nourish. It, it nourish body so much. It's a great moisturizer for body. It's even good for scalp as well. I remember back when um, when I was a bit younger, when you have when you have an accident and the place swell up, they ask to put shea butter. butter on it, and it just goes down, like down that. right away. Yes. I, well, I mean, I can vouch for that. I mean, okay, I, yeah. I don't use your shea butter, right? I'm not saying that. It's, I'm, it's, I'm not saying that to support. Just say okay, yeah, because mm. my shea butter. I mean, shea butter is something that we've been util utilizing. My family have been utilizing for years. And my son is right there. I can see he's smiling. I think I sent you some yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, you sent me some. Right, but any little knock you get, when you bounce your head, when yeah. you put, you put shea butter on mm -hmm. it. And it actually does bring down yeah, the man. Yeah, so yeah. I, I can vouch mm. for that. But go and ahead. it's good for the scalp, uh, scalp as well. It's a moisturizer for the scalp. Yes, yes. And I use mango butter. I have mango butter in it. I have um, cocoa butter in the body butter. I have almond oil. Almond oil is very good. I love almond oil. It's an anti-aging. It's really, really good. I love it so much on my skin. I have vegetable crystalline in it. And that's a great moisturizer too as well. And I have vitamin E and papaya essential oil. Why do you put the vitamins E inside of it? Vitamin E. They're all, well, because they're all how to do with um, moisturizing. Moisturizing. Okay. All right. Okay. And I have, um, I love this as well. It's a new one that I just made. It's carrot and onion. It's a facial wash. A lot of people, I personally don't really like using the soap that I use for my body, for my face. So I made this specially. This is coconut, carrot, it's made, the base is coconut oil with carrot juice and honey. As you said, that I will not be able to tell you the recipe, but uh, the base of what is here is carrot juice, honey, and I have even lemon juice in it. It's really good. It's really, really very good for the um, face as well. How how would they how would they use it? Um, it's just it's just a soap that you put a little bit on your palm, rub it, and you wash over your to wash your face. Because of the carrot in it, the carrot and honey moisturize your skin and it helps, it has vitamin C, vitamin C and E in it as well. We all know carrot is vitamin C. 
it has um, vitamin E as well. And the vitamin A in it as well, if car carrot has vitamin A, vitamin A and C in it, it act, uh, act as catal catalyst, catalyst to the skin to produce the collagen that our skin really needed. It fed out wrinkles. It fights irritation as well. I love this very much on me. It's really moisturized very well. I have another one that I love as well is, we all drink coconuts. It's a new, all these ones are new. Coconut milk. I made this with coconut milk. And I call it coconut milk facial wash. It has honey as well. I like this too. I like this, the, the carrot one for the, in the night. And I like this during the day. The coconut milk. What's the difference? Yeah, because of the milk. Because carrots, to me, carrots, um, it's not really good for the sun when you're going to the sun. Okay. To use the carrot oil or carrot um, wash or carrot, anything that has to do with carrot is not really good for the sun. Sometimes it's fed, it makes one go darker. Okay. So I prefer this at night. Personally, I prefer it at night. But coconut milk, facial wash, I love it for during the day. It cleans so deeply. It fights anti-aging. Tell us about the coconut capsule. Okay. Why did you put the cap? Why did you put? Because I I remember you yeah, used to uh, have the coconut in the the, coconut, the virgin coconut oil. The coconut capsule. Why I actually go into coconut oil capsule is um a lot of people love to take. I personally too. I like coconut oil. I like taking it, but I don't like the smell. Even though I made it myself, I don't like the taste. And when I travel, I would like to have it in my bag, but I can't, I can't carry it in my bag because of the liquid. You know, you cannot carry liquid. There's some ones you can carry. But with this, when you don't like, if you don't like the taste of coconut oil, you don't like the smell of the coconut oil, and you, you, you can't carry the bottle all around, this is really good for you. Coconut oil capsule is made not just capsule, it's a vegan capsule that I use. It's not, um, and we all know what um, coconut oil does, it helps brain. Person, I like it for my brain. What does it do to the brain? It boosts my brain, it helps, it, it helps the, the function of my brain, it makes help me to remember things. And we know that it, it helps with the um, diabetes uh, 2 type. Type two it's type, type, type two, yeah. Mm. Cancer, you know, all, you all know a lot of what coconut oil does. It's really, really, I love it so much. It's one of my favorite one as well. So how many cups? How would you take it? Two. I take two. I take two in the morning. And if I think I might need more, I just take two at night. Because this is 1,000 mg. 1000 mg. Mm -hmm. So, how many capsules would, would a bottle like that have? Yeah, I just because it's a new one, I started with 30 and see how it goes. But I, in future, I need one to take into like 120. Okay, but I okay. just start with 30 and see how people will respond to it because it's not really something that is common all over. So, let me see how people like it. So, and all these things are made right here in St. Lucia, yeah, I made them in, here in St. Lucia. Okay, all right, okay, thanks. All right, definitely, we do for a little intercession right now. What we're going to do, we're going to take a, it's, a, it's 7 o'clock on the dot. We'll take an intercession. When we come again, we're going to continue the system and we're going to open up the lines. If you have any little questions to ask her, then you could definitely ask her. Bless it. The Village of Denry comes alive with the sweet sounds of music as Pursuing Destiny Ministry presents Jazz in the Yard, a worship experience. Saturday, May 5th, 5 p.m. Gates open at 4 p.m. Bethel's Blessing Event Center, Bypass Road, Denry. Featuring Sylvanas Ernest, Ignite Band, Kadeen Manga, Lisa Barton Volney, and more. Jazz in the Yard will also feature Spoken Word, Mind, Fashion by The Clothesline, Exhibition, Great Music, Good Food, Lovely People. Tickets cost $50 for adults, children 12 and under enter free. $40 early bird special before April 20th. Sponsors include Pursuing 
Destiny Ministry, Lindsay's Jewelry, DBS, Choice TV and Calabash TV, Total Healthcare Pharmacy, Fulton Building and Hardware Supply, Money Connection, Quarry Products, Hammock Suites and Jackie's Printing. Hey Keisha, what's happening over there? I'm not sure, but it looks like something big. Really? In observance of its 26th anniversary, FIX is offering new and existing customers the Jumbo Mortgage Finance Package. A package which gives customers the power to get additional financing to better their lives with several bonus options. A built-in savings plan, repayment two months after disbursement, and a mortgage payment holiday too. What I'm hearing is that you can get any kind of loan as long as you can mortgage any property as security. Wow. Then that's Jumbo. Indeed. The GMF package comes with 100% financing on land and land and house loans, attractive interest rates, debt consolidation, and much more. Get the all-new Jumbo Mortgage Finance at FIX. Terms and conditions apply. FIX, a company you can trust. The Archdiocese of Castries presents Walk With Your Priest 2018, a stewardship of health event. Assemble from 6.30 a.m. at the Latony Mall in Beaufort on Tuesday, 1st May 2018. Kick off at 7.30 a.m. from the mall to the library playing field where you will immerse yourself in a massive health fair, sports competitions with parishes and the clergy, spiritual performances and a variety of foods. Register with any parish office now for only $25. And remember, spend time caring for your health. Health is wealth. And your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So take care of your body. Take control and take care of your health. Join Walk with your priests on Tuesday, 1st May. Thanks to technology, we can still enjoy some of life's most important moments. Just sign up to check your balance, manage multiple accounts, and pay your bills online through your bank even while doing what matters most. It takes just a few minutes to set up from a computer, tablet or smartphone. Lucilic My Account, a free, fast and easy way to view and pay your electricity bills. Yes, we do give thanks for life and a mighty life giver. Uh, definitely, as we know, we have Sister Kehinde with us right here. And uh, she has been speaking of her wonderful little products that she, she has created. You know, we, we are a bit patient with her as it is her first time on, on television. And, you know, she's doing her best to actually express it. And I must say that she's very persistent in the things that she is doing. And then she, she's come a long way. And her presentation even... You know, it's, it's improving day in, you know, so I must applaud her for that. And, you know, when Thank people you. try, you know, I mean, you, you just give thanks mm -hmm. for that. Um, you were talking about, you also make soaps. Before we go into the other yeah. half of the program, talk yeah. to us about your I have your different soaps. types of soap. Mm -hmm. I have Glory Cedar. I have um, Cocoa. Mm -hmm. I have Rosemary. I have Neem. And many others. I have Shea Butter Soap. But I just want to talk only on um, neem, neem bar soap. I really love this. I love neem so much. It's hard. It's um. It helps when you have if you have acne or fungi. It treats fungi on the skin. And if you have back eggs, you can use it on it as well. When you wash with um, neem bar soap, it helps to suit pain. Mm -hmm. It's also detoxify body. It has anti-aging as well. It helps with you have rashes on your skin. I have so many testimonies about mm -hmm. neem bar soap. People that has rashes or children that have rashes on their skin and after using neem bar soap, it vanish. I love it so mm -hmm. much. And you, neem, you, you, you were going to talk about the um, before you before you you about the other soap you're talking about the um this one here you said the uh this one is um after because we ladies we don't usually like using whatever cream on our for the body for the face so i made this 
almond facial lotion i love it uh, this one why i love it so much is it has spf 30 in it and the spf is the raspberry seed oil is the spf 30 in it raspberry seed oil is made with it shea butter almond oil jojoba oil mm -hmm. that is what i use in making this and because of our weather the sun we need something to protect our skin from sun so that is main reason why i actually made almond facial lotion to protect ladies men too can use it to protect face from sun damage so that is the almond facial lotion you were talking about one other soap i i have a lot of well cocoa we all make you know cocoa the cocoa stick yes you know cocoa stick we you can use you, you make, make a cocoa, cocoa butter, butter yeah. out of it as yeah, well butter, and yeah. we in saint lucia we make cocoa stick i love cocoa stick so much mm -hmm. i mean cocoa tea cocoa tea yeah. i love it so much mm -hmm. so i make out of it bar soap so from the from the cocoa the, from cocoa so it's a great moisturizer to an anti-aging from mm -hmm. the cocoa yeah, mm -hmm. it's a new product it's a new one that i just made Okay, because okay. I love cocoa tea. So how 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 is it that you 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 could use these things to make soap? <laughs> how? How how do you make the soap? Yeah, you just you grate it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then you when you make all your soap, and then you just mix it with it, and that's it. Mix it if if it. She's not giving out any coconut secret. oil. <laughs> you know, I told you by by base is coconut oil. Use coconut oil, lime, olive oil. Vegetable gristly, mm -hmm. I have them in my um, sea salt mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then um, cocoa stick. Just grate see, it I mean, and I mean, then mix it. That's it. And water. And water. Oh, okay. So, all these things there, it might seem simple, but to get it right, it takes years to actually get it right. So, when you see someone actually come out with a product, I mean, sometimes people might believe, well, they might just read your label and say, oh, that's let me go that myself one thing and boop. They try and then they. To get themselves into trouble it, is something, it takes years literally even with our establishment definitely i mean i know Kik sister um, kihinde has been in this for a while because i say from time i was bought orange you know she's been checking and she's been bringing samples in fact her samples stayed there for at least a good maybe about a six months before i even look at them all right so and she's been persistent from that time until now and i could actually see that you know, um, things are progressing and she mm. things are getting better for her. And when people, when people spend a certain amount of finance with you, uh, you, you give them a bag? Yeah. Uh -huh. I have these that I made for mm. all my clients. Mm. If you spend certain amounts, like, How much? like 50, 55 upward or 60, you can get a bag. You can this bag for your mom, for yourself, for your male friend it's a promotion that we are having right now for all our clients you can keep all your cosmetics in it you can keep all your toilet treats in it it's very good it's handy to travel with pride of saint lucia pride of it is everything i made i call it pride of saint lucia because i see it as a pride of at least i came to saint lucia I could, i'm able to make something out of it that's why i say, that's why i call it pride of saint lucia i mean definitely but i'll see when I get back, i'm sorry to cut you go ahead even if i get back to nigeria i'll still mm -hmm. call it pride of saint lucia because mm -hmm. that is the pride that's what i at least something i gained from saint lucia give thanks i mean definitely you see people that's people that say well oh saint lucia we have nothing we have no resources you know and and our beloved sister has come from um, Nigeria and ha is using uh, the coconut oil, coconut milk, using the lemon juice, you know, using the, the, the cocoa, using the neem, using all everything that we have right here in St. Lucia and have created a variety of products. And I had to stop her because she was filling up the table with products. So that's not even half of what she actually has to offer. So definitely, I mean, I'd like to applaud her for, for the works that she, she's, she has been doing. And do you have a telephone number that you could give the people who might want to contact you if they want yep. to place an order? You have a website or telephone number you want to yeah. give them? I have, yep. Um, 520-4717. 520-4717. Five two zero 
0242-4717-4717. And I have email. You could say it again, the number. 520-4717. And the email. And I have email. Kharmonyessential at gmail.com. Say it again, slower. Kharmony. Mm -hmm. G at, at gmail.com. So it's, it's just, just K-Harmony or K-Harmony Essentials? K-Harmony Essentials at gmail.com gmail So that is K-H-A-R-M-O-N-Y E-S-S-E-N-T-I-A-L-S at gmail.com So that's K-Harmony Essentials at gmail.com And her telephone number is 1758-520-4717 or 729-1683 that's five two zero four seven one seven or seven two nine one six eight three, and they are located right opposite the the um four one four night club in Badawanch. That's right downstairs the vet clinic there, right next to the vet clinic, right there in the same little area where we used to be before. Definitely, you could actually give her a call and find out what and she has for you. Liberty. Yeah, and definitely her products are also available at Liberty. Right in our restaurant in um in the city, she has a little. I gave her a little space in the little corner there. K Harmony space there where all the products also are available. Right there in the. Is there any other place you have it available? Um, very soon, maybe in a week or two at um Mass Stores. Okay, all right. Mass Okay, so all right. Collected it. Okay, give thanks. No, it's not the display yet. Okay, all right. So definitely, so she is actually working towards it, and we give thanks for the upliftment that you know she's 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 going through and i pray the almighty keep on strengthening her and you the people strengthen her in in her, in, her, in a way forward because i mean you're going to buy the soap anyway you're going to buy a cream anyway you're going to buy coconut oil anyway you're going to buy something to wash your face anyway instead of avon in it you could k-harmony it instead do something local at least you know you could benefit that other people right there in St. Lucia. Let the money circle it through the country. Because most times we, we say things hard, things hard, things hard. That's because most of the times so all we do, we, we spend all our money with different places, different people that actually just take their money and go out with it and never never return. Mm -hmm. But you know, when, when it is that we could support the coconut farmer, we could support the person doing the coconut oil and we could support, you know, I mean, we give thanks, you know. I mean, um, that at least, you know, we have people who are standing up and definitely, you know, doing whatever it is that they have to be doing to uplift the nation. All right. So those of you who want to call and ask a question about whatever she is doing, I mean, you could call as we'll, we'll be going before the intercession. Um, she'll be with us until maybe 730 when I go into the other break, then she, she will leave. But if you have a question for her, I mean, the number is on the television screen. You would give us a call. But in the meantime, what we'll be doing today, we'll be continuing where we left off, specifically when it comes to the whole aspect of, of the how to utilize herbs. So the number is 4519349-4531730. Any questions for the sister? I mean, you could definitely give her a call and uh, give us a call and ask, you know, 4531730 or 4519349. And remember that, you know, um, you could never have too much because she alone cannot supply enough. If everybody in St. Lucia were to come to her and ask for soap, she wouldn't be able to supply everybody with soap. I mean, in about an hour time, she'll be sold out. You know, so she is offering something. All right. So it, it gives encouragement to all the other people in St. Lucia. You could offer something too. So it's not about competition. That, okay, all right, uh, okay, I've got to come now, man. I mean, the go on, go in the supermarket, look at the shelf. You have all types of soups palm olive, this, that, that, this, that, Dutch boy, whole heap of different type of soups. So, why is it that you cannot have 15 different types of soups right here from St. Lucia? So, at least our people have a choice, they can choose. They could say, okay, all right, I'll take turtle back soup, I'll take that soup, I'll take this. Oh, I like. This one soup, but I prefer, I like that one there for me too. Okay, like, you understand? So then, we now as a people, we need to just open up our minds and understand that, I mean, support yourself, support ourselves. So, even you, the 15-year-old or the 16-year-old or the 17-year-old, 
or the other twenty year old who left school and have nothing doing at all, just there sitting down and scratching yourself and waiting for somebody to give you a job. You could take you could look at what she is doing and say, Wait, wait. I can do something like that also. Right? And begin your mm-hmm. own little thing a step at a time, a step at a time until you could get good yourself. So I mean it is important that we as a people start to utilize our resources. So when you say I come on the team, I talk about patchouli this and that. You could do things if it do a tea bag. Yes, go see the mm-hmm. color, bless it. Yes, go see the caller. Bless her, love. Hello, good, good evening. Yes, my sister. Bless her. Bless her. Good evening. Yes, I'm hearing you. Go ahead. I'm just calling to calling to to um support to support the the products. I am a user of the products. But um, the one I want to big up, though she didn't advertise it, it's a a shampoo, hair shampoo. The hair shampoo, I find it's a very good product. That's the first shampoo I have used all those, in all those years I'm using shampoo. And I do not require a conditioner with it. So I know it's a good product. The, the soaps, I know they are, they are perfect on my body. So I, I just call to, to, just, to support. Where do, you, where, do, where do you buy it from? Where do I buy from? Yes. Directly from her. Okay, give thanks, Directly give thanks, give thanks. Give thanks. Yeah. Give thanks, my sister. Okay? Yes, yes, give thanks, okay. give thanks. Okay then. Love, love, bless. Bye. You. So you want to mention a little thing about the shampoo right. you talk about? Yeah, I have shampoo too. Um, my shampoo, I call it, I made with castor. When I say castor, because it's made with olive oil and coconut oil. It foams leather a lot, and I use um, a biscuit flour. I extracted it. I, you know, fried with um, coconut oil to get the the extraction in making the shampoo. People, it is, a lot of people like it so much. People say it's a bit thin, but it, it foams leather a lot. It foams, and it, myself, I like it because it's wash. Usually, before I start making my shampoo i used to go to salon i don't like i have a problem on my scalp real problem if my um hairdresser is watching me now she will say yes i used to have a lot of problem they tried so many shampoos it never worked so when i got to school i have to like, ask my supervisor i need to learn how to make shampoo as well not just all the soap and cream so, so you actually went to school to, yeah to learn yeah that. school of natural skincare yeah where School of Natural Skin Care, California. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So online. So I, I, I have to. I, I, I want to know how to make um, shampoos as well. Is and I say it's part of your course where you get there. You will know it. Give thanks. And give that's thanks. why I just made my and I love it on my skin and I begin to sell to people as well. Well, I man, we give thanks. I mean, definitely. So you see, well, the sister actually took a little time out and well online course to 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 educate herself and uplift herself. So at least you see so. These things are important. It's important that we, we, we actually push ourselves forward and, and, and become the best that, that we're supposed to be. And give thanks for the caller who actually called to actually vouch in using that product there. 451 Give us a call, definitely. Mm-hmm. Um, as of last week, as we're going to continue, if you want to call and say, ask a question, it could still. But um, we are going until the hour of 7.30, then she, she will um, um, excuse herself. But definitely, you know, we had stopped on the roots. The roots. Last week, we talked about the poultices. We talked about macerations, infusions, fermentations, fermentation, decoction, extracts, cold press, and baths. So we spoke about these different modalities of how it is that we could actually utilize herbs. So today, what we are speaking of, we are going to talk of the roots how is it that we are going to deliver the roots of plants how to get the ex the, the, the extracts from the roots of plant how to get the most minerals the most phytochemicals how to get the most medicinal properties from the roots of plants so written from the herbal manual which is our book i mean i mean i mean it's our book we wrote the book so i can read from it i, I mean come on i mean it's right in my head, I could, t- I could tell it to you, you know, I wrote the book, there, I mean, the five sentences that there, 
I could I could tell you five thousand sentences about how to make roots, but I'm just going to read what the book has. That selected roots are boiled in a clay pot for twenty one minutes at least twenty one minutes. Remember the twenty one. When you're making roots and these things, and when you're making herbal medicines, every single thing is important. The day you harvest the plant, the time you harvest the plant, how you harvest the plant, what you wear when you harvest the plant, how you smell when you harvest the plant, every single aspect of dealing with the herbs, very, very important. Our elders used to tell us, oh, if you're making a tea from that herb, for if you have a soft fruit, take half of this leaf, take half of that other leaf, Take half of that other leaf and put these three halves together to make the tea. And the results would be different than if you just take three leaves and make the tea. You understand that? So every aspect of utilizing the herbs are very, very important. And it's important that we don't just jump away and leave out what the elders taught us. And say, oh boy, right now everything we educated... We don't want to do it that way again. We'll just do it how the doctor said. Just swing your pill. Nah, man. I remember going to us to an elderly lady from 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 Salty Bus. I think packed up with in that, in that hole at the back there, and she was showing me how to use the twelfth. The twelfth. And you see, these elderly people have so much knowledge and information. God bless them, eh? God bless. Give thanks for the elders. God bless them and give them long life. And keep their mind, keep their mind sane and keep them strong. And even that elderly lady, man, I used to get my castor oil from that sister there. And man, I mean, it touches my heart to see when someone 70 something and 80 and going and they're still gathering the castor, castor oil seeds and still ponging and still boy and keeping the tradition going. You understand? And let still people say bye word and these elderly people they should have five, six, seven bottle castor ready for me. Eighty dollars a bottle, hundred dollars a bottle. What thing I mean? And, and she's elderly. And she gathers her seeds herself. And she pongs it and she boils it and she does her oils herself. Yet still our younger people take no notice of that. And we claim things are so hard. Right? That elderly sister there, she and she she said, oh, she, and she showed me the science of utilizing that, um, that particular herb. And she says that you have to take three leaves and take a piece from the bottom of one leaf, take a piece from the center of one leaf, and take a piece from the top of one and make the three leaf make one leaf to make the cup of tea. And then some people might say, oh boy, that's crap that's oh, that's insignificant just take the leaf and do the tea the elderly people know exactly what they're about remember when you tear a leaf you smell it don't you if you have if you have orange an orange leaf and you tear it don't you smell it then you take the smell of the orange yes that means that the active constituents of that when you tear it Something escaped from it. You never check when you when you're going to drink a coconut. Whenever you cut in the coconut, chuk, chuk, and you juke the water flies in your eye. Of course, that's good. When when, when you peel an orange and you skin in the orange, pss, the juice goes in your eye. That's good. All these things they are natural ways that the Almighty, the Creator, have orchestrated everything to actually get us to our healing. So if you have red eye, you could take a young coconut and wash your eye if it cleans the eye. If your eye dirty, you could take the orange skin and squeeze the juice in your eye and make your eye run out and clean out. Right? I mean, I, 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 I does that to my children. When they're not watching, I squeeze the orange in the eye. It might burn, but it cleans and nourishes the eye. Because the rind of the orange is what contains all the antioxidants. Not the orange. Not, not, not the carbohydrates inside of the orange. The juicy part. The white coat on the outside. And the skin on the outside has all the antioxidants, all the minerals that you need to act with more vitamin C than inside of the orange. So when our elders say, take that leaf, cut it here, cut it here, cut it here. That means that each aspect of that leaf would have been releasing a particular phytochemical 
to actually help you to get the desired result that you want to get. Right? And also demonstrates a unity. Because you take three and you make one. Then you take that one. So there's a principle in healing. Right? So when you're doing the roots, it's important. Remember we said that when you are harvesting the root of the plant to make medicine, it's always more effective to harvest it on the new moon. When you have, not now, now the moon is getting full. That means that all the essence of the herbs are climbing to the roots. When it is that you have new moon, it's dark. You see all the stars in the sky, right? When it's full moon, it's bright. You hardly see any stars in the sky. That means that the effects of the astral bodies, the, the stars on the plant is different in a full moon than a new moon. Like it or not. When it's full moon, you have high tide. The moon does cause the water to rise. When a woman is menstruating and she has, and in the full moon, she bleeds more. If it is that you are giving birth on a full moon or a new moon, it's a different experience completely. Why? Because the moon affects us as people. Why do you think they call people lunatic? They say, oh, that man is a lunatic. What's a lunar? Lunar is moon. So a lunatic is someone who gets mad every time the moon is getting full. So when the moon is getting full, boy, oh, God, sir, by the let me see. Eh? The thing is on that man there, by brethren. Watch the moon, the moon is full. So lunatics are people who are affected by the cycles of the moon. A woman has a 28-day cycle. The cycle of a woman is 28 days. From the day she begins to bleed onto her next cycle is exactly 28 days. Like a cycle of the moon. The moon has 28 days. First quarter, second quarter, third quarter fourth quarter the moon has a 28 day cycle the woman has a 28 day cycle so what makes you think that you could just go and underneath the root of the plant and just just take your pickaxe and your cutlass and just harvest anytime no brethren it's important to harvest the root part of the plant on the new moon because when it's dark the, the, the essential aspects of the roots of the plant goes down to the depths. Goes down to the roots. Yeah, man. Trust me. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yes, of course. Take it by veteran. Right? When it's dark, the active ingredients of that plant gets down to the roots. So in the if you want to have as the leaves, have us in a full moon. That means that everything is drawn from the bottom to the top. New moon, everything goes down to the bottom. That's why, if you're going to plant corn, they say, plant the corn on the dark dark. Or when the moon is full, 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 and the grain of corn will be full, full, full the same way. Eh, okay. So, why you buying McDonald's for? To plant on that day and plant on this and plant on that day. Why? Because everything as above as below. They say, our father what in, 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 in heaven? Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come on earth. As in what? Zion. Heaven. That's what they say. So, the roots boil in a clay pot 21 minutes. Then afterwards, after you boil it, right, you strain it out. And you could put it in a stainless steel jar or a glass jar. You could add some molasses and you cover it and you put it in a dark place again for 21 days. So let's say you are a man and you are impotent. That means that you don't get a good erection. And you want to make some medicines for yourself. Right? So, you want to get some plants that have aphrodisiac properties. These are plants that actually help to boost up the sexual powers of the man it gives you a better erection so you're talking about nuni root the roots of the nuni you're talking about coconut root you're talking about male papaya root you're talking about gully root what they call 
fait du vent. Talking about man better man root. Talking about calcan. Talking about brabade. You talking about bay leaf root. You talking about banana root. You talking about cinnamon root. You talking about all these roots there. So you take these roots. But normally you could do seven roots. You could do three roots. You could do 14 roots. You could do 21 roots. Okay, I went to medical school, you know, people. I study Cuba. I study America University of the College of Medicine. I study right here, Spartan Medical School. I study plenty medical schools. Plus, I study Defenses Herbal Medicine School. I do whole heap of studies. And where led me back straight into what my grandmother used to tell me before. And most of my studies were scholarship because I was stopping. You understand? So I'm not no dunce. Right? So, when I go back to what my ancestors used to do, not because, that's because they were right. So when they say, C'est fait toi fait, Ebe sec fait, Ebe, Ogoban. When they give you the quantities that you have to use, that's because they know they've been doing this for hundreds of years. Thousands of years. So, three roots, seven roots, 14 roots, 21 roots. You could use it like that. Boil them, strain them out, put them in a jar, right? Close them, put some, put some molasses, put them in a dark place. Leave it for 21 days, right? It's going to be like, when you open it, it's like champagne. All right? So you could do this and you could create your own roots drink. Yeah, I tell you. All right. Now, if it is that you listen very carefully, you could begin a business. You could say, oh, Priscilash, I'm going to do a manpower roots and put seven roots in it and boil it down and call it manpower roots and organize it. And anybody who drink is going to get manpower. That's how it started, you know, brethren and sister. When you actually utilize the... And remember, you know, you don't have to go and buy anything at all except probably the molasses. You could go to a spring and collect the water. You need a pan, you need wood fire or whatever fire you have. You need water, you need the roots. You could pass in the bush, anyone has them same roots. Boil it, put it away and keep it to set. That's the way it goes. So when it is that we as a people, we, we fail to actually understand the powers of what we have. We wasting time, man. Yeah, by way, what by give way? Nothing no hand, man. People just lazy. All right. So we say the roots are used to treat conditions such as impotence, lack of sex drive, and poor circulation. All right. So we are on our seven forty point, and, and let me just allow the honourable sister. I mean, if it is that you, you wanted to tell the people something before we, we go in for a break again, I don't know if you'll be here with us when you come again. Let, let the people know exactly um, the things, tell them the things you have to offer and the number that they could reach you to actually order or get whatever it is that they need. Um, I would love so much, like, um, ladies out there, if you really want to really glow, you want to be radiant. I would like you to try my coconut milk and honey facial wash. Try it out and let me know. And call me on 520-4717. 520-1747. And I would love you too to try my almond facial lotion with SPF 30. I'm looking forward to... To receive you all, I have so many soaps, I have shampoos, like the other lady said, I have body wash, I have deodorant, natural deodorant, vegan deodorant. Just visit us at Liberty and see all this, this stuff that we have. You'll be amazed, and many more that are still coming. And I have coconut oil, virgin, cold pressed virgin coconut oil. We all have it at Liberty Restaurant on Jeremy Street. Give thanks, honorable. Give you thank, thank you so much, everyone. Give thanks to everyone. Thank you. Give thanks, it's my sister. It's been an honor to be here. 
and I hope to see you all. Give thanks okay. definitely. I must say that um, you see sometimes when people want something, they just be more in a hurry than you, you know. But I must commend the honourable sister for. She's a very humble little um, um sister. I mean um. Thank you. Yeah, she's humble because I mean for her to get where she is, it took time and took patience because. I'm very busy and sometimes she does wait a lot just to see the priest. <laughs> so I, I, I give that for her humility, right? And and, you. and, and I you know, wish her um, success in what she's doing. And you know, and I mean, for the people outside, if you have something you're doing outside there, that's natural and that is something that, you know, thing, you could give us a call also and you could come and sit down on my right and I'll make your enemies your footstool, right? <laughs> Give like, give thanks on our sister for 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 coming today, and I pray that people support you. I mean, definitely it's the number to call, um five two zero four seven one seven seven two nine one six eight three. That's five two zero four seven one seven and seven two nine one six eight three. And uh, email is k harmony essentials at gmail dot com. That is the letter k h a r m o n y essentials e s s e n t i a l s at gmail.com so give thanks again honorable for being here with us Thank definitely you. we give one intercession when we continue we're going to continue with the salves the syrups maybe we'll just do salves and syrup and then you have to be calling you can't let me do all the speaking uh, come on come on you must know something that your great grandmother used to do that was beneficial to us all that you could share with us and empower us embolden us that we could face this future healthier and wealthier ja rastafari bless it hey keisha what's happening over there i'm not sure but it looks like something big really in observance of its 26th anniversary Fix is offering new and existing customers the Jumbo Mortgage Finance Package. A package which gives customers the power to get additional financing to better their lives with several bonus options. A built-in savings plan, repayment two months after disbursement, and a mortgage payment holiday too. What I'm hearing is that you can get any kind of loan as long as you can mortgage any property as security. Wow. Then that's Jumbo. Indeed. The JMF package comes with 100% financing on land and land and house loans, attractive interest rates, debt consolidation, and much more. Get the all-new Jumbo Mortgage Finance at Fix. Terms and conditions apply. Fix, a company you can trust. technology we can still enjoy some of life's most important moments just sign up to check your balance manage multiple accounts and pay your bills online through your bank even while doing what matters most it takes just a few minutes to set up from a computer tablet or smartphone Lucilic my account a free, fast, and easy way to view and pay your electricity bills. The village of Denry comes alive with the sweet sounds of music as Pursuing Destiny Ministry presents Jazz in the Yard, a worship experience. Saturday, May 5th, 5 p.m. Gates open at 4 p.m. Bethel's Blessing Event Center, Bypass Road, Denry. Featuring Sylvanus Ernest, Ignite Band, Kadeen Manga, Lisa Barton Volney, and more. Jazz in the Yard will also feature spoken word, mind, fashion by The Clothesline, exhibition, great music, good food, lovely people. Tickets cost $50 for adults, children 12 and under enter free. $40 early bird special before April 20th. Sponsors include Pursuing Destiny Ministry, Lindsay's Jewelry, DBS, Choice TV, and Calabash TV, Total Healthcare Pharmacy, Fulton Building and Hardware Supply, Money Connection, Quarry Products, Amok Suites, and Jackie's Printing.
Yes, definitely. It's our, it's our final lap on our program now, and I give thanks for all those of you who, who are with us. You know, we give thanks definitely. You know, um, as our sister was saying, mm -hmm. talking up, asking me, oh, why praise about you know what about the woman? I mean, it is we, we, you make roots for woman also. There are plenty of things that you could basically utilize. Mm -hmm. You know, as as a woman. You know, as a woman, plenty, plenty, plenty things you could utilize as a woman. It's not, it's not, most times the woman gets left behind, they say, mm -hmm. because as if the woman not supposed to want things to boost up herself. As a woman, you're supposed to always boost up yourself. Mm -hmm. You know, it's always make sure that, yeah, man, you know, you, yeah, you know, not only the man that's supposed to be looking to boost up himself, you know, so we do have the female package and the woman can make the roots set with. They have roots. All you do, you utilize the roots for the woman. Mm -hmm. And there are special roots just for the woman also. You know, so it's not just only the man. You know, so you look at the, the, the feminine herbs. And the herbal manual would have that. So when you look at the, the female reproductive system in our book, they have a list of herbs there as there. So when you look at you look at the roots, roots, the roots of these herbs. And the herbs that actually balance the hormones of the woman, definitely. I mean, like the calabash, oh my goodness, that's great. Mm, St. John's bush, oh, that's great, awesome. All these things, the vervine, the white vervine, that's awesome for the human. All right? So, the next herbal preparation that we are going to look at is what we call a salve. Salves, or slavs. Salves, slavs, slavs. They say the L, the A is, the A is supposed to be silent, but I'm not English, brethren. I'm, I'm an African man who was... Who came down here in the west just to actually try to save my people? I was not, I was not, I was not African nap. I wasn't kidnapped, you know. I didn't come here in the nah, man. I came consciously to help to redeem my people back to the motherland of Africa. So let us look at that word there. It says Slavs, but you know how English is. It's mm -hmm. it's S A L V S. Okay, so that is you make this, you create these things there by. Allowing herbs to boil in heated beeswax until water evaporates mm -hmm. and foaming stops. Alright, so if it is that you want to make if it is that you want to create something for like bumps on the skin. Okay, so you say what herb is very good for bumps? Comfrey. So comfrey is good for bumps. Alright. What other herb is good for the skin? Then you could say, okay, alright, Seracy bush. Good for the skin. Who was a kokam kuli? Okay, so what other herb is good for parasites to so take out rash and thing from the skin? Okay, see, make one to our other same name bush. Okay, so what you could do then is that you get the beeswax. The beeswax. Eh? The wax from the bee, the honey bee, mm -hmm. the comb. You take it, you heat it in a pan, and you take your, 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 your herbs. So you could, it's always good to use quantity. So you're making a little cream for yourself because you have a little, you know, you don't want mosquito to bite you or you don't want, you have a little rash underneath your skin and your skin. So you say, okay, all right. So you get some cassia lata, which is excellent for rash, ringworms, lota, livers, whatever. Seracy bush, nim bush, you take it, you pong. It's always good to use good, so you say one handful of cassia lata leaf, you pong it in your peanut, you took, 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 you pong it. Crush it. Mortar and pistol. Now, crushing and ponging is better than blending. Trust me. It's a science. Alright? When you blend aloes, the aloes turn foamy. Foam, foam. Foam, foam, foam. If you chop aloes finely and you pong it, it turns slimy. So that's two different products you have here. You have a slimy aloes and you have a foamy aloes. That's two different things. So, when you pong your herbs, when you pong your herbs, you get more of the active ingredients out of it. Because when you blend, you spin it at a very high velocity. That means that you are destroying particular bonds that keep them compact together. So, when you pong, Better. So you pong the name, you pong the cassette, you pong the service, you pong, 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 pong. Then you, you put them to boil long in your beeswax. When it stops foaming, that means that all the water has extracted from it. Get a metal strainer, pour it over it, 
and you allow it to solidify, you have a slav or salves. Forgive my English, right? If you want to make a cream in with that, you could add some coconut oil. So it makes the horn, it makes the beeswax a bit softer. You want to make it more tender? You could add some shea butter. And you could add some cocoa butter. You understand? Then you have boops. There you have it. Now, when we make our skincare cream or we make these type mm -hmm. of things, these things there, you see, when you make good stuff, handmade stuff, it's more expensive than them chemical stuff. Because remember, you know, they are, when we make it, when we make we have a cream for eczema. When you when we make that cream, you you have to use a hundred percent shea butter. Not only use the petroleum jelly, on and then you have any type of cheap stuff. Hundred percent shea butter melted. Your your herbs, your coconut oil, your essential oil. So when you get that thing there, man, come on, man, good stuff. All right, great stuff. So you could make all these things there. To treat your ulcers and any skin condition. Mm. Your slavs. I'm looking like slaves there. Eh? S-A-L-V-E-S. -E your creams. Okay? Now, another product that we could make. Are we off? Okay, it seems like we are offline there. Sorry, my people. I say that we are off the line here. Let me. So at least you could read it yourself. Herbal manual stuff I talking about. Yeah, man. Come on. Come on. All right. Syrups. Syrups. Before every house used to have a syrup. You don't have any, you don't, when you get a coffee, you don't have to go to the doctor. Your grandmother have a thing of syrup right there in the house. Or they have yes. Whenever growing up, Amo always used to have some gosiwo. And they make a syrup with it. Now, if you have a cough and you want to make a cough syrup, we only have a 14 minutes. The lines are open, you could call. We only have 14 minutes remaining, you could call. Lines are open. Sorry, sorry, people, I didn't remember that. Okay, all right. So if you, if you have a cough and you want to make a syrup, a cough syrup, very simple, cough syrup. They have a man selling cane juice right up there by Bois d'Orange. All right? By the wash, cane juice, man. Okay, all right. You get a liter of, you get some cane juice. You don't have to get no sugar. You get no sugar. Now, what is good for coughing? Go for points good for coughing. Patchouli is good for coughing. And also, you have lactate CO is good for coughing. So you could take these three herbs. Put your liter of cane juice, boil the herbs in it for about a five, seven, nine minutes or so. I mean, just boil it until you could smell all the aroma of the herb coming out. Until it's boiling. Then after you've boiled it and you could smell the aroma throughout the house, you could smell the aroma, you strain it out. And then you boil the cane juice on low heat until... You put it in your spoon and it flows like a syrup. And bottle it in a glass jar. And you have a syrup. You don't have to go and buy no cough syrup in the... All this information is right there in the herbal manual. 451-934-9453-1730 Definitely give us a call. I'm not saying anything else. You call now. I, I'm, I'm not. I could have. I'm, I, I could have gone and say some more things. We have about a ten more minutes. You call. You call. I'm, I'm not gonna say anything else. You have to call. Tell me something your grandmother used to do, and you know, and and, and, and how effective it was. Don't call my cell phone. Is you calling the cell phone? Don't call. Don't call the cell phone. You need to call. Call four five one nine three four nine four five three one seven three zero. And let us know what you have to say. I mean, we had a wonderful program. We had a sister who gave us some wonderful knowledge. Come on. 
Let us know what you have to say. 4519341730. All the people on Facebook give thanks. Akim, yeah man, I can see the idea watching. Uh, the elders know, yeah man, powerful, nothing goes unaccounted for. Yes, Catherine Gustav, blessed love, give thanks. Yes, Michael Casimir, building the black economy. Of course, we are building the black economy. Let us buy from ourselves and let us produce the things that we actually need. Renetta Etienne, okay, blessed love, give thanks. Kevin Paul, just tune in, okay, my brother, give thanks. Give thanks. Let us share it, man. Let us get a thousand people watching the thing, man. Oh, man, why are you tall, man? Oh. Leslie, Charles, our grandparents made a syrup called Siwo Miel. Siwo Milfle. Various herbs are boiled in sugar into a syrup. A teaspoon is administered for coughs and colds. All right, honorable. Yeah, man, you're right. Yes, 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 yes. But right now, we don't have to boil it in the sugar. Because them sugar, they have so much chemical in it. Because the cane itself is grown in so much chemical and them type of thing there. All right? Um, better we use the fresh cane juice. If we could grow our own cane, we could boil the cane with our own cane juice. You know, boil our herbs and make our own syrup. No calls coming. I mean, come on, man. Facebook people are more active than you all. Huh? Huh? All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, Bishop God blessed. Yes, I'm. I'm. Is it love honorable? Good, good night, Honorable. Yes, my sister, blessed, blessed. Blessed. You, you, um, I have a bad cough. This yes. is, um, this is here. I had a cough, a bad, bad cough. Yes. And it, it's making me, I'm like, um, when you have, I didn't have a, asthma. And it's taking my breath. I had to go to the hospital for them to give me some oxygen. I, pa I like I pass out in it. Okay. Hello. Well, I, I mean, if you mm -hmm. had to go to the hospital, better you come to us. Come to the great physician. I mean, what do you have? I come to you already. I, I always in your office. Well, come again. I calling from David so. But hmm? they say Bishop Gap. Huh? You say Bishop Gab. You come for a call. Hello. Already? I came to see you already. It's about two months I came to see you, no? For, for that same cough? Huh? For that same cough? No, no for, not for the cough. That's just, just, just happening. Okay, right. Okay. No. All right. If you get, if you get La Fleddy CO, that's very good mm. for persistent coughs. La Fleddy CO, okay? Or you get Kawaktelism or Katalism or Leaf of Life or Love Bush. You pour Catalism. it, you squeeze the juice. That's you... ready to see you. Hello? Yeah, that's ready to see you. My pet. Mm. Yeah, alright. And so, catalysm. And catalysm. Yeah. You have that? You have that's ready to see you. Yeah, I can get it. I can get that. You have catalysm and you have go pour pour. And go, yeah, I have all that tea. All around right, so me. you could make a tea with equal portions of these things there. And for seven days, mm. you drink a cup of it every three hours. So throughout the day, every three hours, you drink a cup. Morning, drink a cup. Just boil them. Don't put no. no I don't not boil them. Sugar boil the water. We have a program now. Mm. Eh? Boil the water and put the leaves in it. Don't boil it, the leaves. All right? Mm. Okay, all right. No, 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 I'm not boiling my, um, my rubble. I'm, I'm not boiling it. I'm okay. pouring, I'm making it, I'm boiling the water, pour it and cover it. That's it? Mm. Okay, that's it? And boy who said you? That's yeah, it? Yeah, okay, all right. All right, love. Mm. Okay, give thanks. Love. 4519349453, one zero. give us a call, definitely we are there with you. Let us know exactly what's going on with you. Yes? I'm going to pass me the tip there. I'm going to tip my mouth. You, know. you have to call and talk. You, I mean, you like, you just want the priest to speak and thing and thing. And there are, there's plenty of knowledge that you have. Especially the elders. Give us a call. Let us know what to do. 
I need help myself. Yes, Babuno, call a blessed. Babuno. Hello? Yes, Babuno, you know everything. Let us know. I, I, why, I, why, is, why is our calls dropping? Babuno caller, I mean, I don't know why your call dropped, my beloved. I know you know what you're talking about. But we want our elders to give us a call, man. Give us some information. Educate us. Mm -hmm. Right? Educate us, you know? Educate I and I. Educate us, educate us, educate us. Come on, come on. Give us a call. 451-934-945-330. Let us know how to use the herbs. We need to know. We talk about the the creams, the salves, the slavs, whatever we want to pronounce it. We talk about the syrups, you know. Yes, Kaku Cola, blessed. Yes, Kaku Cola, blessed. Good night, Chisela. Blessed, 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 blessed. How are you doing? I'm blessed, and you? Okay. Well, I want to congratulate you on, on, that is it, on, on your, um, your performance. I do appreciate it. And I can say amen, hallelujah to all what you're saying. If thanks. Okay? So I will come and check you anytime. Uh, how's Bye -bye. the leg? Good. How's the leg? She's gone. All right, four five one nine three four nine four five three seven three zero. Come on, we get a hallelujah. We get an amen already. So let us know exactly what's going on. Come on, my people. Four five one nine three four nine four five three one seven three zero. Nothing. Okay. All right. I mean, if you like the quietness, I I mean, I could just be quiet. I mean, come on. Yes, um, Rivia Mita. Oh, hello. Yes, my sister. Come on, give us some I, uh, I had a bad cough. Uh-huh. And I make my own syrup. Oh, tell us, sister. Teach us. Yes, I make my own syrup. I put, um, I do work, and that is done, 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 and I go in it. I put a long time for sugar and I make a big thing of syrup and I put in that the cough just gone. Give thanks, my sister. So yes, you said catalysm. You said, I'm not having it too clear. You said catalysm, la felicio, shadow benny, go popon, fey du vin. Yes. And that was it? Yes, I put on two atas. Two atas, okay, two atas. Yes, I put on those things and I boil it together. Give thanks, mommy. I Give thanks. Give thanks. Good night. Yeah, love, love. Yes, love, give thanks. Love. Blessed. Okay, love. love. Yes, Castro's call up. Give thanks. Hello? Yes, yes, hell is low, definitely. Bless, blessed love. Blessed love. Yes, how are you? I am blessed. And, and the family. Comes. How is the eye also? Beban? How are you? Oh, <laughs> not doing too bad. Oh, give thanks. Give yeah, thanks. how is the family? Oh, the family is doing divine. Okay, blessed. we thank God beautiful. for you all and that God continue to give you all the grace, the strength and health. Give thanks. To continue doing the good work. Give thanks. Because we have been helped a lot give by thanks. the knowledge imparting to us. Give thanks. I'm there to ask you a little question. Go ahead. Um, when someone has a lot of bowel gas that is trapping the intestines, what can they take to release that gas? I when, will listen to you on the television. Okay, blessed. Well, you could blessed. use a little, um, um, you could use a little, um, go, um, I got again there. Um, ah, came to my mind, I just fly away. But anyway. The patchouli is good, but you could use the best thing for the trap gas in your intestines is that thing. How you call that again there? Uh, good it, eh? All right, good it, eh? Good it, eh? Have a little pinch of salt. Excellent. Some strong ginger tea. Yes, Sufra Cola, bless. <coughs> Sufra Cola? Oh, Sufra Cola is gone. I'm very sorry, Sufra Cola. There we have one of our divine... Come, come, come on, make the people see you. The blessed love. Blessed love. Eh, eh, man. That's actually blessed love. Blessed love, no man. 
Set up. Okay, all right. So Honorable Prince Sele has been with me farming for the whole day and then he came to the program and he's just been watching and I had to make him give the people a little blessing there. Definitely give thanks. Yes, Babu, no call a blessing. Hello. Yes. Let me tell you if you can handle that. Um I'm sixty two years, I have no children and now I realize my tummy is getting big. Okay. Um I get a little bit upset sometimes. But I think I'm going to come to you. Yeah, well, come to I us. I will come to you. Yeah, come to us then. Yes. Mm. Okay? All right. Come to us. Yes. Yes, yes. yes Suzel, call her. Bless her, Suzel. Hello? Yes, Suzel. Bless. Hello? Um, Can you drink more ringer if you have diabetes? Yeah, I mean, you can. You can. Yes, you can? Yes, you can. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, all right. Okay, bless. I mean, you can. I mean, I mean I'm not telling you that. I mean, my, diabetes is a lifestyle disease, so... Apart from just drinking the moringa, why are you moving around, Sona man? Still come, come on that side, no man. You're just moving around there. I invite you on that side, brethren. Stay there, no man. Come to this man. <laughs> All right. Anyway, Vifat Kola, blessed Vifat Kola. Blessed love. Honorable. <laughs> nice to see you. You also. Um, they have a lady that. That call there for when you have gas in your intestines. Barrel. Intestines. Yes. You know, you say the patchouli. Yeah, the patchouli is a part of it. The gobo and, 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 and the um um and um godite. But the patchouli, I will tell you, the patchouli is very very good. Yes. Well, the lady, you can boil the patchouli and give it to your husband every night. So he will pass the gas. He he I can I can recommend the um the patchouli. Blessed love. Blessed, blessed, blessed. Good. Bye. Give thanks. All right, I mean give thanks, you know, for you know, you know, you know, um give thanks for life and a mighty life giver. And I will Prince Sele there we first have been on the battlefield. You now we've been to meetings in Denry and all day we travel in eh? Huh? Yes. Come on, clear your foot and, and and tell the people something. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> ah, oh my goodness, brethren. Yes, honorable. Okay, blessed love. Um, to um Simone and give Kevin Paul love to the family. Said way. Um, um, Michael Casimir said we want two hours. We can't get two hours. An hour and a half today, brethren. You know we were a bit late. Bingy bless. Hail Rastafari. Blessed. Give thanks for all those people who actually join us today. Give thanks for honorable sister Kehinde. For being with us you know um, i pray that you know um you have learned something good and definitely you you could actually apply that okay all right moshi caller last call moshi caller blessed blessed cash honorable good night mm. something i want to ask you after you uh for inflammation after you take thing like there is afrochic castellata what what is good for to put you yeah man we have a laxative man it's called a free up laxative freedom of Mo movement internationally Pardon? We have a laxative called free up laxative. I can't hear you. We have a laxative called the free up laxative. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you will get that. Where, where can I get it? Liberty. Liberty on Jeremy Street. Oh. Uh, Where's Liberty? So I. Okay, so. Because. Opposite the oil. Uh, You'll be there tomorrow? Yeah man, tomorrow. Yeah man, of course. Yes. So that's okay. Yeah, so yeah when man. You, yeah. When I come there, you will tell me how to take it. Yeah man, of course man. Oh okay. All right. Yeah, Love it's, it's a, a something a bush something. Yeah, just come and check the thing out, man. All right. Okay. Come see for guarantee. Okay. Right. Yeah man. Love. Right. I mean, definitely we give thanks, you know, for life and a mighty life. Give a give thanks for all those of you who have been with us. I mean, definitely our time is up. Though we'd have loved to spend some more time with you. You don't know how it is, you know. You know, good things come to those who wait, but not those who wait too long. So if you have a wonderful idea, put it into practice, man. A day at a time. Just in, in, invest your time and your energy into it. I'll be in office tomorrow from 1 o'clock. So those of you who want to see us, definitely you could come in. Um, Monday and Wednesdays are the days that we are in office. Consultation 722-3660. Definitely remember Liberty Foods, providing you with all your exquisite cuisines, vegan, alkaline, and ital. Definitely. May the Almighty God bless and keep you and make his holy face shine upon your holy face. 
Any final words, sister? I would love to, I would love to see you again. I would love to see every one of you at Liberty. Give thanks. So all those of you who have been with us tonight, give thanks again. Mm -hmm. And you know, um, as we say, God is a good God and he always will be good. He does shine his light on the criminal and the rapist and the murderer and everything. When rain falls, rain no fall only on the house of the righteous but on the house of everyone. So the same way, you as a man or as a woman or as a little prince, as a princess, show love to everyone. Don't make people change you into something that you are not. When they get you upset and think, just, eh, man, just, just love. Love, love, love. Love love is the key, the only key, the golden key to open wide Zion door. Whosoever enter in, ever live in love mm -hmm. shall have. Ja? Rastafari. Blessed love.